Hey, it's KMA, how's your day today? And welcome to the corner. I've been wanting to do some sort of tutorial on Minecraft. I've been kind of um, debating which one I should do, like how I should do it, if I should do tutorials for farms and stuff. But I decided um, a lot of people know how to play this game, but they don't know the advanced um, pro ways of playing it. I can't really call it pro, but the ways that people have been playing this game for seven, eight years have been playing uh, play it now. And that's me. I came in during the Halloween update and I've been playing the game on and off for that amount of time. Yes, I get burned out every once in a while, but I think everybody gets burned out on Minecraft every once in a while. But it's a great game and um, I just figured I'd teach some pro trips, tips, advanced trips, tips, whatever you want to call it. This isn't for a person who's just starting to learn Minecraft. This is more somebody who knows a little bit about the game and wants just to learn some of the tricks and tips. So let's start with the new world. We'll call it Advanced. Ooh, and oh, that's not how you right? Advanced Minecraft tutorial. All right. Um, everything more world options. You know, default, no cheats, and all that stuff. Uh, we'll just create the world. Let the seed dictate itself. I have no idea what the seed is. I would say sometimes if you're playing on a server, if you can find out what the seed is and you need and you need to make content to uh, look for areas in creative, you know, bring the seed up in a creative world and, um, you know, look for areas to building and stuff to make your choices a little bit easier. But other than like having a Minecraft, being on a Minecraft server, um, I wouldn't... Uh, expect you to do that all right so we are in a little plains next to a dark oak forest and what i am looking for is a small tree we want a tree that's not much more than three or four blocks and my game when it first loads a world takes a little bit of time for it to kind of click in and lock in so i don't lose um blocks returning and stuff which i don't know my computer's not the greatest so i don't know if this happens with other computers but it's just something i, I deal with and it's not that big a deal because whatever happens happens right come on one more i usually try not to get a tree that this that is f six but four is optimal so once you get the um things you switch them over the, the logs you switch them over to planks and I just <clears throat> tend to run over to an open area that has some uh, stone make a one of those real quick make a couple of sticks yeah 12 is good because when you get the rest of the tools you can use those sticks for that so what I do instantly is become Stone Age and get three pieces of stone and I make the pig like this and um pick there we go <laughs> alrighty then I go and um get about yeah, I want to say 32 but at least 24 stone you don't need an andesite or bird poop or diorite or granite or gravel and just grab some stone you're gonna make a little hole i'm gonna go for the 32 because we're in an area that probably has lots of food I'll go with the 33 and yeah I, you could probably use that as a hidey hole for your first night also so let's make the rest of the stuff that we need we need a shovel we need an axe to get more wood needed a sword and I'm gonna make one more pickaxe just in case um, so when you first start out you might get the things mixed up a little bit so um, sometimes it takes more than one pick to get down to mining level so now what I do is I try and find areas where trees aren't touching each other so this tree will despawn because I don't like floating leaves if the leaves of this tree was touching the leaves of another tree they would uh, the leaves would not despawn completely they might despawn a little bit um, and I, I look around for trees like that and I don't really go for the oak dark oak at all and while I'm doing it I um, go after these guys because they're food and you need food and also um, 
you could, it's up to you, kill the sheep right away and get uh, um, some fur, uh, <laughs> wool, <laughs> to make a bed so when it becomes night, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, hey, that's a strong chicken. <laughs> I just don't want to hit the, the horse. We don't want to hit the horse. Go on. So basically what I do is I, I spend the rest of the daytime just hunting down food uh maybe getting a couple of pieces of iron sh to shear the sheep yeah we can get some iron real quick we'll do this for sheep machine because we don't want to kill the sheep right away uh ultimately yeah it would be nice to be able to come here you dude thank you so you see my game struggling a little bit it's it's nice to be able to sleep off the first night I mean, if you want to do the first night you can um, and I'll tell you different options I could... what was that let's see if there's any open iron down here there's a cave over here I thought I saw there you are iron there we go so what I yeah we got a couple of pieces of iron so we can play this game nice as I just killed a whole bunch of cows but cows and chicken you know they're they're not the most lovable animals in the world. It's those sheep that you want to hug and and keep alive. So we got some iron. We're going to jump out of here and get rid of that. I'm going to put this down here. And did I make... No, I did not make a furnace yet. There's a furnace. It's probably easier if I click like that and do that. And throw that in there um, and we can throw a couple of these in there we just need two pieces of iron real quick and then I'm gonna um one one up there then I am going to shear some sheep so I can have some some wool to make a bed because to me that is better. Let's turn that on. I'd like to turn that off so it only shows what it can make. So let's go get some wool. We only need three, but you know, they're here. So I'm just gonna share them. And come on, because part of Minecraft is getting as much product as possible as soon as, well, maybe not, I shouldn't say as soon as possible, but all right. So we're lacking on wood big time. So um, what I like to have is <clears throat> like that initial 32 stone at the beginning <clears throat> and I also like to have at least do I oh, sorry about that hitting the mic let's run away from the dark oh dark oak dark oak usually is not a huge biome but this one looks like a pretty big one there's a desert over there too a good thing you might want to do at this time also is just look at the F3 screen just to see approximately where we are so 71 100 I'm just gonna say is spawn kill some more animals because um, the, the more meat you have I like to have at least a stack of cooked food when I go caving so I basically cave for three or four minecraft days I'm not gonna show that in here I don't think I might show you how to cave in the next episode. I haven't really written out these episodes in the order of what I want to teach first. Just gonna shave these guys. It's always nice to have a little extra wool. I do not want the acacia trees. They're a real pain in the butt to cut. I just wanted to get away from these trees because I don't want floating leaves, but I'm gonna get some floating leaves and I'll I'll deal with it later. Because ultimately, um First things first is to get a whole bunch of oak. Let's just run through the forest, see what we come across. And I do run, um, grab the, any of the two tall trees because immediately that will give you the unlimited red dye, especially if you have a bone meal thing. Um, like a skelly spawner or something. So this, this is a pretty big freaking dark oak area hmm we don't uh, I don't want that we want plain old oak trees I'm gonna really gonna try going over here real quick and then I'm gonna hopefully find an area that has a bunch of oak trees so let's finish up let's throw our 
tree blocks down here and I want to actually try and get as much as I can before it gets dark out that's the goal right now and do not go after those super duper double trees that are really high because they're a real pain if you're clearing out an area that's the only time I cut down those super duper trees it's just my preference for the oak by the way it's not like you guys have to definitely go for oak but I'd rather do oak than the other trees I don't know I'm not a big fan of dark oak and you know Part of the reason why we have all is getting all this wood is because we want to also start thinking about building and it's a lot easier to build a beginner project with the cobble and oak. Yes, you can do dark oak if you want, but I my preference is regular oak. So it's up to you preference wise, but my preference is regular oak. So this is what I do. I almost got a stack now. It doesn't take long. And if you, you can just crank it out, go after some food, go after some wood like this. We'll just cut down one more tree just to get to the full stack. And then we'll see it's it's getting darker. Oh, come on. I don't know why things are popping up like that. So let's try and kill some animals. And that was the end of my axe. All right. Um kill the rest of these animals we don't really need an axe right now I got a sword we'll make another axe when we come back up that's a big that's there's some pig over here so I think my main issue right now is um, food because I didn't get nearly as much food as I'd like to get before I go caving but at the same time you know um, I have the ability to make a bed, so if it gets too dark out here and things start spawning, which is pretty soon, then let's might as well, might as well plop it down. Uh, where's the crafting table? Crafting table down! Let's make a bed! Yes, we'll just make a red bed. I mean, uh, a white bed. Bed. Sweet dreams. So that's a first day. Um, What did I get with the first day? Let me see what I got. Uh, in my inventory, we have 13, 33, 41 pieces of food, over a stack of wood, some iron, and about 20 pieces of cobble. That's, that's pretty good other than the food. The food's a little off, but what are you going to do with that? So, uh, seeing that I decided to go the sleepy, sleepy way, I am going to go and finish off killing off some food. Actually, you know what? Seeing I can't jump anywhere and I've used up all my all my energies because once you get down to three haunches, if I try and run, which I still use the double tap for the, the forward button because that's how long I've been playing this game. I'm not used to hitting, what is it, control to run fast. Huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm an old fogey. I don't learn new tricks. Come here, give me your guts. Bacon. All right, uh, enough of the choking. But yeah, um, at least a stack of food before you go down, unless you can't and your world is not uh, feasible if you go down with a half a stack or whatever. See, what I'm talking about is that usually when people play the game, uh, they go for... Um, oh Jesus, it, it, it's kind of like getting lost, you, you, alright, I've, I've gotten a couple pieces of coal, that's good enough for me to cook things with and all that stuff. Well, speaking of coal, I, uh, ran over this last time because I wanted to get iron, but, uh, there's coal, like, right here, and there was coal in my last place I went so we'll get some coal so we can start cooking this up and we're gonna go and find our little cubby hole I want these videos to be about 20 minutes long so instead of just doing the first day here I'm just doing first day in a little bit in the next episode I will show you the caving how to do it with this um, because there's two ways of caving you can you know immediately go all the way down to um, 
bed bedrock level or 11 what I, I call 11 <laughs> also uh, another thing a lot of people play with the sounds on I don't like having the things over there I stream a lot I record a lot I think that distracts from the enjoyment of the game so to say so I don't have the thing that says zombie footsteps over there uh, it's just not something I was used to maybe when I started the game and it had that I would do that now but not it's just my preference it's up to you obviously I just don't think it looks nice um, did I just watch a horse despawn nope it was just eating anytime you see um, any uh, sugarcane <clears throat> I just kind of plant it because uh, it's great to have the sugarcane for later uh, when you start wanting to enchant and do books which should be within the first couple of days of you doing this uh, depending on how long you um, mine for the reason why um, <clears throat> there's always mobs forming here because it's a it's a um, plane and it'll give time for the mobs to start forming so this is our abode that we stole the stone from at the very beginning what i'm gonna do is <clears throat> to end up the first day if you're all done with the day is just start cooking up some meats actually i'm gonna square this off a little bit better I'm gonna throw a couple of, well, I'll throw the crafting table behind there for now and what I sometimes do is use this area for um, a home base I'm gonna steal half of you the more stuff you have cooking the better and we're gonna make a chest. We'll make another chest. And we'll put it right here. That was not cool. I'm not used to the new. <laughs> I'm not used to the new uh, placing of chests. Well, actually, we'll, we'll do it here. There we go. They combined it there. Now I'm gonna throw my excess into there. I got some food cooked, so let's eat up. Now we can get our health back. And I'm going to wait for these things to cook up. And I, then I'm going to start working on my way of getting downstairs. Sorry, I didn't mean to have you right in my face. I'm um, getting down to get the stuff that we need to protect ourselves and things like that. Um, I'll just go over it in the next video, I guess, how to do that. But um, at this point, you should either have a bed, just let you sleep another uh, day you should have at least a stack of logs close to a stack of food and any items that you saw around that uh, you thought was worthy for your future anything that you can collect is great because it's amazing you know oh I need some black concrete for this and you just don't have any uh, black dye or anything like that it's just good to collect things as you go and always have chests that you can plop down things and later on we can clean up where those chests are so we don't look like a scoundrel and um, a nomad walking around and making new homes and stuff but next we're gonna look at the caving and that will be next episode thank you for watching this I hope this will help some people out in the early days of the game I mean, um, it's just the way I do things, and I think the way I do things is pretty good because people think I'm a decent player, so why not uh, teach some of the stuff I know to other people that want to become decent players? So guys, have a great day. It's KMA. Goodbye.